Hey, how's it going there, folks? Welcome back here on this Monday night. It is the Earth Master, and it's about 8.17 p.m. here, California time, March 4th, 2024. Latest activity shows a 1.4 up into the Alaska area on the Earthquake 3D globe. Uh, seen some further movement down here across New Zealand with a handful of uh, deeper quakes once again underneath the South Island area. So continue to watch that. That has been quite active here in the last few days underneath the area. Uh, looking at some further activity here across areas of China uh, where we did see a 5.3 coming in. Uh, this earthquake fairly recent there, this uh, just earlier this evening for that five-pointer. Also, if you notice on the Earthquake 3D globe here, still got quite a bit of swarming going on here across the Ionian Sea. Nothing really shown up here across the USGS map. They did have a uh, uh, 4.2 this morning that the USGS is picking up on, so we have to check out the EMSC data for the latest activity. And uh, as we can zoom over here real quick... Refresh that, uh, make sure it's going to come in right. There we go. Still looking at uh, some decent earthquake activity out here. Really no main quake yet. Um, you know, we, we've seen this 4.2, which I think is one of the largest quakes there in the sequence of activity here over the last couple days. We've seen a little bit of movement here if we go back the last week, but uh, most of this activity occurring in the last 24 hours or so, last hour, still shows some movement here with a, a couple smaller quakes in this area. Uh, again, not 100% certain uh, where this is leading to, but uh, definitely some elevated activity out here recently uh, with all this earthquake activity and the swarming, in a swarming fashion for sure, uh, across this area. Uh, so we'll continue to watch that. Definitely showing some elevated activity out there. Uh, the rest of the model here in terms of the flat scale model earth looking at some movement here across the Puerto Rico trench area Once again getting a little swarming going on here itself over here in this little region. There's a uh, Mona trough here that uh, has seen a little bit of a swarming event uh, with some threes and uh, Looks like threes are the magic number there in that little cluster of activity across the states here uh, I don't think we got anything major going on, uh, no major earthquake activity to report, but swarming out there in the uh, desert of Texas, out there in the oil fields once again, up around Yellowstone, not a whole lot going on, a couple smaller earthquakes there from earlier this morning, and as we look at the Pacific Northwest, a couple smaller quakes up, up around the uh, Mount Rainier area, and uh, there's a small little earthquake here outside of Eugene. Kind of an odd one, but uh, looks like that's just here around the Cascade Mountain Range. Idaho still seeing some activity out here in this region that did see that uh, that uh, movement here a couple weeks ago. Well, maybe it's been, I wonder how long it's been. Yeah, it's been a couple weeks, I, I believe. Uh, here's a 2.5 model and above. That's where that 4.9 struck. See uh, definitely quite a bit of earthquake activity stirring up here in terms of aftershock movement with uh, some twos and whatnot there across this area of Idaho for the west coast um wait a minute, kind of jumped over this one there's a 3.8 out in Crescent Valley Nevada it looks like that's the only earthquake out here but uh yeah a little bit of movement out here across this area the Great Basin region as far as California goes, though, getting a little handful of earthquakes on the San Andreas Fault here, just around the San Francisco area. Um, 1906, the last decent earthquake here on this uh, on this plate boundary. Uh, a little bit of time has passed, right? I don't think it's built up enough strain here for uh, another big one, at least on the plate boundary here, but uh, you never know. Uh, one earthquake outside of Concord here, just south of there as well, 2.3 near the Walnut Creek area. And uh, a handful of earthquakes across the creeping segment of the San Andreas Fault. Really not seen uh, too much activity stirring up here for now in Southern California. Just um, some general small microquake activity out here. Uh, as far as the movement in Hawaii goes, looks like things are toning off here for now. Really not seeing a whole lot of elevated activity, but we'll check the uh, informational statements out here on Kilauea Volcano and uh, see if we got any major influx of magma going on below the surface which i don't think we are but i uh, just want to double check that here on the deformation data chart this kind of gives us a good indicator of what's going on uh, subsurface regions in terms of tilt uh, and really not a whole lot going on here uh, here's the past week uh, past two days kind of lowered here we were starting to go up a little bit in terms of inflation now we're back down 
overall trend though um, you know does show that period of inflation here and getting these little stair-stepping events so I'm um, pretty certain that we'll see this continue to go back up in this fashion once again uh, as these models have been showing but uh, really not a whole lot of change there across the uh, big island for now uh, in the Iceland area let's go check out the earthquake map here real quick from Iceland and uh, we'll see what's going on here got about 20 earthquakes or so in the last 12 hours got to watch it because this area out here you know a couple days ago did show some massive movement here across the area with with some broad scale earthquake activity and uh, magma uh, movement underneath the area here um, so for now most of the earthquake activity is kind of backed off but there is this 2.1 coming in here uh, just to the southwest of Grindavik. We've got to watch these rift zones here. Uh, that could be key to uh, determining when the next eruption will take place out here. The hazard map that they put out here recently for the Iceland area uh, still uh, consists of zone 3. This area here in the red, the Hagafell, Singarfell region. This is the area where they believe the um, next eruption event is going to take place here and this has been the general location of the past couple eruptions as well uh, although the latest one back in um, February here was a little bit more northward but uh, those lava flows did extend uh, quite uh, a distance there across the area so we'll, we'll just have to see where the uh, the next one takes place but right now earthquake activity very minimal across the Atlantic Ocean for now Let's see, South America area. I see a handful of earthquakes over there, but uh, yeah, it looks like a typical movement down there. The reason four stirring up, nothing out of the norm. 1.4 up in Alaska. Just kind of a kind of an odd day. I mean, it's you've seen some earthquake activity, but it's generally been uh, somewhat quiet here. Let's check out space weather. See what's going on here uh, for space weather. Not a whole lot in terms of auroras right now, which is very minimal. Uh, and far as the solar flaring or lack thereof, well, as you can see, just barely getting a little sea flare activity here on the chart. This is going to be the X-ray uh, flare class, and uh, it's fairly minimal. Not really seeing a whole lot going on there. Uh, quick glance here at the magnetogram image of the sun. Uh, basically, the only active region that I can see here is going to be out on the north western limb of the sun this sunspot looks like it's advancing and in, in complexity a little bit uh but technically by tomorrow morning this thing should be out of sight out of mind so not even going to have to worry about that uh and the rest of the sunspots out here they're fairly quiet not a whole lot of organized uh, activity for now hopefully we can get that to change uh, as we head into the uh days ahead but for now very low threat 85% chance for a C flare, M flare at 25, and X flare around 1% chance or so. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, Storm Prediction Center out here. Looks like some severe weather potential here uh, currently in place across a good portion of the country. Most of that is due to some wind and hail potential out there across these areas. A look at the long term models here of the weather. Uh, West Coast is going to be getting some uh, more precipitation out here as that low pressure system kind of swings down here to, uh, towards Southern California as we put this into motion. Not a whole lot of moisture associated, associated with it, but uh, nonetheless, it will bring some precipitation there to SoCal. And uh, after that, well, we'll have to see. It looks like we do have a couple more colder storms come down, and these models aren't completely uh, computed yet. Uh, but at least looking out there into the next week or so things will remain active out here across the west coast uh, as far as precipitation goes um, southeast down there just getting a lot of moisture uh, which is good right they definitely uh, you know got a, quite a few days coming up here with some heavy rainfall it looks like in that area all uh, right let's see what else we didn't check yellowstone but uh there's a little earthquake right here recently. It looks like in the last hour or so. Going to be this little spike. But aside from that, as you can see, there's only a handful of other smaller quakes there. Throughout the last 24 hours, maybe some wind events coming in right now. That's kind of what it looks like there on the map. Um, you know, I've been looking at seismograph stations here for many years, studying them many years. And Yellowstone 
is uh, an area uh, where it gets quite windy, obviously. And then in the summertime, you get these thunderstorms and whatnot. And all of that can play a part on the noise that uh, is observed in the seismograph station there. Um, wind gusts, there we go. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, it's quite windy up here. It looks quite cold as well. Um, you know, some of these wind gusts up here, I'm sure a little bit higher than what it's reading, 33 mile per hour wind gusts, and probably higher up here across some of these peaks. But uh, yeah, so a little bit of wind noise showing up here on these seismograph stations. All right, what else we got here, folks? I think that's about it. Um, it's Monday. Definitely felt like it. Um, I'm just uh, a little on the drain side uh, in terms of uh, well, dealing with a lot of schoolwork right now. Got to get that done, right? Education, pretty important. Uh, looks like another 2.6 coming in here to the Mediterranean area. See that earthquake there? Uh, but also a 5.4 earthquake coming in right now, it looks like, um, just within the last 10 minutes here across this area. Let me see if the USGS has picked up on that yet. Uh, doesn't look like it. So the EMSC model here is going to be... Well, it's not going to be that one, is it? It's going to be down here. Uh, outside the Dubai area, southeastern Iran. That earthquake just coming in. And uh, well, it looks like it got upgraded here to a 5.7. Pretty decent sized earthquake. Uh, overall, you know, just the trend out here shows some elevated movement specifically across this area of the plate boundaries. And, uh, you know, that earthquake swarm here around the Greece area definitely pointing towards something here. Uh, in the area. They do get some large quakes out here uh, and these earthquake swarms there are, are probably could be a key uh, ending uh, kind of like a key thing to watch right because a lot of times we will see some type of swarming activity before a large event and then sometimes we won't they'll just it'll just go away but uh, I don't know I think this is uh, leading to something a little bit bigger out here in the area. Either way we'll continue to watch it. This area of the world quite active right now including that 5.7 coming in right did they keep it at a 5.7 i'll downgraded it right now 5.5 it goes back and forth back and forth eventually they will sort out a magnitude there that everyone can agree with but uh yeah, usgs not picking up on that yet all right folks i'm out of here have yourself a good day stay safe out there we'll catch you guys back out here in the morning for the tuesday morning update